now. And you know, Big Brown may have been laying low since the Belmont, but Rick has certainly been going at it. He has four graded stakes wins and $1.7 million in earnings since June 7th, since the Belmont stakes. Now, Rising Moon is a horse who's been very successful despite a spotty resume. What should we look for from him in this race today? Well, I think that if he likes this track, he's going to run a big race. He's been training very good. Last time, I think he had an excuse with the infection and the mucus and all, and he just... You know, Cornelio said he never felt himself in the race. So we got something to go on, and he's been training really, really good. We blew him out here this morning with Rudy, and we're, we're just as confident as we can be. We're, we're happy to be where we are right now. He is a nice horse. Now, August 3rd is a big date. A lot of people have circled on their calendars. Big Brown runs in the Haskell. What's your take on what happened in the Belmont? I still don't, you know, the first half mile, I just seen that he got a horrible trip. And after that, I just can't explain it to anybody. The horse just has, has been good. I have, I've looked for a problem. I haven't seen it. And he's been uh, training exceptionally well. This morning especially, right? Yeah, he went really good. I'm very happy with him. He's very happy with himself right now. So we're in pretty good shape. I can't wait to get him in the gate again. I know that. Now, Mike Ivarone, who we did an interview with um, earlier, has said that, your relationship with him, his relationship with you has been somewhat strained. How would you describe it? I don't see a problem or heard of one. I, I didn't know that it was strained. You didn't know that it was strained? You and he no. haven't had sort of words about... Not in any kind of way. <laughs> he didn't say anything about, you know, the horses might be leaving or... Not lately. Not lately. Things have been smoothed over, in other words. I didn't know, ever know that there was a problem. Did he ever tell you he was going to take the horses from you? No. He didn't. No. Okay. All right. Well, as far as the Haskell, are you as confident about Big Brown's chances as you were going into the Belmont? Well, every time that I've run him, I've been pretty confident. So I don't know why anything should change. Still, we got a whole week to go through. So when he goes over there, you know, when he goes in the gate, I'm sure I'll feel confident he'll run big. Okay. Good luck to you. Good luck with Rising Moon. Good luck with Big Brown next week. We'll see you there. Thanks. Thanks, Rick. Joe? Thanks, Janine. This is like the gift that keeps on giving for sports journalists, this dynamics between <laughs> Dutch Row and Ivorone and DeSormo. Now, let's just get you up to speed as to what has taken place today. And I know this is the first time for a lot of you that you're with us watching horse racing since the Belmont, but you followed the soap opera that happened with Big Brown. Earlier today in an exclusive interview, Michael Ivorone, the owner of Big Brown, who owns IEAH Stables, told Janine Edwards that he was this close to firing Rick Dutrow, taking all his horses away from him. He, he said it right in front of the camera. Then Janine confronts Dutrow. Dutrow had no knowledge of it whatsoever. Can you say dysfunctional family? Wow. I mean, that just, that just shows. And yeah, not, none of us were there. None of us were privy to any conversations between Ivorone and Dutrow. Ivorone may say one thing. Dutrow may say another thing. But, you know, I, I think right now, let's just focus on the horse. Listen.